My name is Kat and I'm from Vegan Diver Kat and today I am talking to you all about the most common questions I get asked about being a dive professional. So this is a video for scuba diving professionals and it is answering all the questions that you guys have left me, whether it was on YouTube or Instagram. Of course, before we get started, please feel free to join the Ocean Tribe love and family. Uh, press that subscribe button uh, and yeah, leave a comment, leave a like, uh, check out the podcast, anything like that. And if you're interested in anything to do with ocean conservation, sustainability, scuba diving, this is the place for you. So let's get into the video. Ecostel wants to know how do you start diving. So uh, if you want to learn more about how to start diving or tips for new divers, I have a whole playlist for new divers. So go over and check that out. Oksana Reyeshova wants to know how do you find a dive master job or where is it possible to find it? Asia, Europe, what country? Dive master jobs are generally much harder to find than instructor jobs because people will most likely hire an instructor because dive masters can only guide and assist while instructors can actually take non-divers and turn them into divers. So if you do want to do it as a career, I would recommend getting up to the instructor level. Otherwise, the best way to kind of get a job wherever in the world is to kind of do an internship and get to know the dive company and the dive shop and work with them during your dive master to the point where they might like you so much they might keep you. But uh, in terms of actually finding a job, it's, it's difficult as a dive master. I would say, but it is not impossible, but I can't tell you exactly what country. It really depends what's out there. You can join diving professional groups on Facebook, check out what work is available. You can also on the Paddy Pro site, they actually go through um, all this stuff. Um, now we're gonna go over to the questions from the YouTube page. So in the community tab on YouTube, you can actually talk to me over there as well. So let's check out what people have been asking. So Rick Potter, hi Rick Potter, um, wants to know uh, about um, his IDC. He's starting in next week, ooh, which would have been last week. Any suggestions for the IE? Um, so I wanna do a whole separate video about the IE, but basically the instructor development course, the IDC, uh, takes about two to three weeks depending how you do it. And it's a pretty full on experience where you learn how to teach. So you have components where you have to teach in the classroom, you have components where you teach in the confined pool um, above the surface, and underwater and then as well teaching in the open water and you learn about how you do all this all the content is things that you're going to already know from your dive master course so in your instructor course you really learn about how to teach you also learn about the the business of diving how to sell courses how to kind of market it how to get out there and how to be a representation for patty uh, again i'm just talking about patty here um, for your IE, which is your instructor exam, this is a separate cost that you have to pay for on top. Again, I'm gonna do a whole separate video about the IE, but there it's a two day exam and you get tested on all these components. So just like in your dive master course, you're gonna be tested on the theory, on the physiology, on the physics, on the equipment and on like uh, standards and regulations. And then you're also gonna get tested on presenting in a classroom, presenting in a confined water pool and con presenting in the ocean. So you're gonna be given one question or one skill and then you're gonna have some time to prepare it and then you're gonna have to go essentially through the steps that they taught you in your IDC. If you fail any one of these components, you can redo it, uh, I believe once. Um, however, if you make a mistake which would cost someone their life, you fail the whole thing and then you have to redo the whole IE. Again, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on the IE, but that's just kind of a quick overview. Uh, Thierry wants to know what to expect to learn from the Dive Master course. Uh, what are the challenges you have to face and what's the best thing you learned in your Dive Master course and the toughest thing a student has to do in the Dive Master course. So I think the toughest thing you have to do in the Dive Master course 
is um, really the self-discipline because this is not like an open water or an advanced course. This is more of a mentee-mentor relationship where you're actually um, learning from your instructor and you're following them and you're getting real life experience. And you have to really be passionate and learn these things for yourself. So the theory, there is a lot of theory and it's not difficult, but you have to read the books, you have to study, you have to do the math, the physics, and really it's up to you about how well you learn it. And the better you learn it, the better of a diver you're gonna be, the better you're gonna be able to answer students' questions. And this is much more about uh, the quality of a dive master you're gonna be. So the only reason you're studying is for yourself. Again, just like I said earlier, this is not a school, this is not a test you have to pass. This is just how helpful are you going to be as a dive master to other people. The toughest thing you have to do is uh, probably the stress test, which really depends on where you do it. But basically the stress test is you get underwater and you get into a situation which is quite stressful. So you have to exchange all your scuba gear with your buddy while sharing uh, one regulator. So this tests your coordination, working together, planning um, how to do this in advance, as well as staying calm, being able to breathe um, off one regulator while blowing out little bubbles. So it is quite a lot of things to consider, but it is a lot of fun. And honestly, most people enjoy it the best. Mark wants to know, what is the cheapest way to do your instructors? Um, uh, he's already had his dive master in Cape Town and now looking abroad for more experience. So unfortunately, the instructor course isn't expensive and in most cases, you will have to pay the full thing. If you wanna do an internship or something like that where you work for your instructors, it's going to end up costing you almost even more in terms of man hours. Sure, you're not paying cash, but you're gonna be paying with your time and the amount of effort you put in. So if you wanna do your instructor course, if you wanna get into scuba diving, unfortunately, you're just going to have to pay those fees like all of us had to. Um, it's just one of the downsides uh, that it is quite pricey, but then again, you can make the money back if you uh, get a good job and you just work your butt off. The Chris Stevens wants to know, how easy is it to find work as a diving instructor? And do you think it's worth doing your advanced course if you've only done a couple of times? How easy is it to find a work as a diving instructor? It really depends, just like any other job. What are your skills? What are you bringing to the table? Are you just a diving instructor or is there something else you can do? So I did a whole podcast about this with David Gersh. Check it out, how to stand uh, out in a crowd of diving instructors. Basically, any skills you have now are going to be helpful for you to find a job as a diving instructor. Do you know how to run a resort? That's awesome. Do you know how to drive a boat? Do you have like more experience first aid? Do you have engineering tickets? Do you have languages? Do you have marketing experience, photography, videography? Any of those things are going to beef up your resume and kind of make you stand out beyond a crowd. Now, as you guys know, I do the social media thing. I create videos like this. Uh, some companies love that, some companies don't. I speak a lot of languages, so that has always boosted me. Uh, and I'm continually learning and I'm doing a lot of volunteer work, so you guys would have seen. I volunteered with Reef Restoration Foundation, Ames. I volunteered with a whole bunch of other things. So um, really set yourself aside by showing that this is your passion and it's not just um, another job kind of thing. And um, you'll be able to find a job uh, if you love it and you believe in it, you'll, you'll get it. I believe in you guys, yes. Um, Stephanie Rossman wants to know, when should you start your DMT? Internship versus short course, how long of an internship, where, where to get the best teaching quality location price, how do you get experience before and after that? So again, I think I'll have to do a whole separate video on the Dive Master course and how to pick it. Uh, that's gonna be a whole separate series of, about all the different uh, diving courses. Basically, just like I said with the instructor course, if you are not paying for the dive master course, you're gonna be paying with it with man hours. So it really depends on what you find more valuable. I think time is always more valuable. However, I do think doing an internship is very important because you actually get to be out there and learn how the boat works, learn how the customers work, learn how the paperwork works, where things go, how to fill tanks. You get to, to actually experience the whole dive culture from a back back view rather than just do a short course, bam, 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 fill out all the requirements and then be done with it. So 
Just keep that in mind when you are uh, choosing your dive master course. You're going to have to pay because that's just the uh, price of diving. Uh, and then I would try and kind of get experience by really offering your help. Um, there are many places in the world who do offer uh, internships, so just look around. I'm trying to put together kind of a list of good places around the world, but it is taking a little bit of time. There's a lot of work I'm doing, as you guys know. I do have a um, podcast as well, and I run a website. So yeah, there's plenty of resources on there for you guys to check out. In terms of getting experience before and after, just like with getting a job as a diving instructor, show that you're curious, get into volunteering, help different organizations in your nearby area and um, make the difference that way. And then people will wanna work with you if you show that you wanna work. And it's not just about the money, it's about the passion. So those are all the questions I'm going to answer today. I hope you found some of that stuff useful. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. You know I love answering them. Um, if you want to contact me, probably easiest on Vegan Diver Cat, whether it's here or on Instagram. There are just so many things, so many things <laughs> I'm doing all the time. If you want to help support me and my mission to protect our oceans, it would mean the world to me. If you got yourself a Plastic is the Killer t-shirt, you get a cool little t-shirt like this with a killer whale on it filled with plastic debris because plastic is the real killer. And yeah, 15% of the proceeds here go straight to the Plastic Free Fund where I work to eliminate plastic and it's a good time. So yeah, otherwise, um, if you want to help me keep doing what I'm doing, uh, become a patron. Yeah. Otherwise, I would love for you guys to check out my podcast, subscribe, like, do all that jazz. Um, it's always good to hear from you. So yeah, leave me a comment down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this was useful and I'll see you.